Hello YouTube, I'm here to show you what tools you need to start painting Warhammer 40,000. So first things first, I'm going to start with the X-Acto knives. They are very sharp and um, they work great. They have specialty or special blade knives. Um, here's a dispenser. You can get all your new blades right here and then all your used blades can go right in that slot right there. It even says it. <laughs> it's not focusing. Right there. Next we're gonna go to the files, their hobby files. Um, they're very helpful in cleaning up your miniature. And then you always want tweezers because they help you glue things on, glue small pieces on, um, without making a mess. And then here's a hobby drill. They're very useful. You can replace the bed to any size that you need. Um, they just work great. And then here are cutters. This is actually a wire cutter. And then here is a hobby cutter. I use it for cutting um, miniatures out of sprues. And if you don't know what a sprue is, or if you're not familiar with it, right here is what a sprue is. That's where all your miniatures come out of the mold. Here's a new tool I just got about mm, almost two weeks ago now. It's a jeweler's saw. Um, it's for making fine cuts, not very heavy duty cuts, but, um, but as you can see, the tool itself is pretty, pretty uh, sturdy. You're also going to want to have an old toothbrush, it's not very dirty though, but you're going to want to have an old toothbrush to clean up your miniatures. This right here is called a drill index. Um, it just helps you sort out your drill bits by size. Um, these are actually used by machinists, but I got this from my stepfather. Um, then you're going to want toothpicks, just you know, for anything. Um, you're also going to want to have a glue. This is the liquid cement. They also make a gel-like cement, which uh, isn't as runny, but it works just as good or better. And then here's a clear cement, but it doesn't melt the plastic unlike this black bottle does. This is something I actually got for Christmas of 2014. Um, my sister gave it to me. It works really good. It's non-toxic, and it sets up and dries within 15 to 20 minutes. You can use it as a glue or clear coat. And then right here is Loctite, you know, glue. If you're not familiar with it, well, here's all the benefits it has. They're great. But it takes a lot longer to cure. You're also going to want to clean up your workstation. They're good sized, you know, room brush um, and then you're gonna want of course a lot of paint brushes different sizes they don't have to be you know super expensive but you do want fine tipped and fat tipped you're also gonna want to have a of course thing of water to clean out your brushes and you're gonna want paper towels here's a very nice tool to have it's a Dremel 4200 Easy Change. You pull back these two bars here to pull the bits or put the bits into the chuck. It's a lot easier than some other models I have. And when using that, of course, always, always wear safety glasses. Um, also, you're going to want quite a few paints. I don't really have too many. Some of these are actually right here. All the ones in this type of bottle are from the 90s. This is actually new stuff, and so is this, obviously. And then, um, it's also nice to have it. So, that's it for my first video. You can see one of my miniatures that I'm working on. Um, I've done better, but I think this is going to turn out pretty nice when I'm all done. Um, you can't see it, but on 
the wings there's actually a blue wash um, maybe you can see a little more there but um, look out for my next video and um, have a good day I hope this video helped you I should be putting up a, another video in the next week to two weeks so definitely before mid or no um, the third week of January 2015